словом, чи ділом, чи думкою, як благий, чоловіколюбний Бог простий. Бо нема людини, що жила б і не зрішила, ти один без гріха. Правда твоя є правда, вічна, і слово твоє є істина. О ти, Єси Воскресіння, життя і спокій, спочилої слуги твоєї, новопредставленої Олександри Христе Боже наш, і ми тобі славу посилаємо з безпочатковим твоїм Отцем, Пресвятим, благим і животворчим Твоїм Духом, нині і повсякчас, і на віки віків. Амінь. Премудрість, Пресвятає Богородице, спаси нас. Ти мій незрівняно славнішу лице, Ти. Бога Слово породи, Насущою Богородицю Тебе чає. Слава Тобі, Христе Боже, Надія наша, слава Тобі. В ім'я Отця і Сина, і Святого Духа, прошу, будь ласка, сідайте. From me personally and uh, from my family and also from the family of St. Andrew's Ukrainian Orthodox Church, I would like to bring my great condolences, dear Maria, John and family, for the repose of the servant of God, Alexandra. On behalf of Maria and her family, I would like to thank you for joining us as we share in the sorrow of Alexandra's loss and honor the beauty she brought to everyone's life. Not long after Alexandra's birth, a song entitled Heaven by the band Life was released. The refrain in lyrics reads, I don't need no one to tell me about heaven when I look at my daughter, I believe. From the moment Maria heard this song, she knew what the singer had meant and could rarely listen to the song without shedding tears. Alexandra was born at 11.59 a.m. on January 29, 2003. Almost one week earlier than she was scheduled to enter this world, the nurses commented on how beautiful Alexandra was. And no truer words have been spoken. She was indeed beautiful. 
After Alexandra was brought home, Maria would spend hours watching her sleep in her arms. In her first year of life, Alexandra and Maria spent a lot of time in Bonneville with Baba and Dido. One afternoon, Maria's mother told her that she regretted not having been able to spend a quality time with Maria when she was a baby. Life as a farmer's wife simply didn't allow for that. That day, Maria promised herself that she would make the most of her time with her little angel. While Alexandra was only able to spend a few short years with her Baba, the love they shared was indescribable. Right up until the passing of her Baba in 2006, Alexandra was blessed to have more time with her Dido, who came to live with Maria and Alexandra for eight years until her Dido passed in 2016. Without question, Alexandra knew she was the apple of her Dido's eye. Although Alexandra's father, Mar Martin, passed away in 2012, the love he had for her was undeniable and absolute. He would make up stories about a, a garter snake named Snakey, who loved and would frolic in never-ending adventures. Alexandra kept every one of the letters Martin wrote to her, and she threatened to get a tattoo of Snakey once she turned 18. As all children do, Alexandra grew up too quickly. From being held in Maria's arms to crawling across the floor, from her first tentative steps to running Maria around in circles. Every step, walk and run were absolute bliss. Shortly thereafter came the dance le lessons, music lessons, and the inevitable first day of kindergarten. Alexandra began her schooling at Father Kenneth Kern's elementary school as a part of the Ukrainian bilingual program and later transferring to the St. Teresa Junior High in where she began to discover her loves that included drama and where she had her first exposure to the joy of travel after a fortuitous school trip to New York where she first experienced the splendor of Broadway. As Alexandra grew older, she and Maria began to spread their wings whether it was trips to Victoria to visit friends, or Mexico to swim with the dolphins, or a wild wind trip though through Europe to meet extended family to learn about her family's history, Maria and Alexander were a dynamic duo. Alexandra became interested in the student exchange programs through school. In September of 2017, Alexandra and Maria hosted Irene, an exchange student from Spain. It was soon apparent Irene became the sister Alexandra never had. The two had so much fun together, and when it was time for Irene to return home, all three hugged and cried endlessly at the airport. Soon it was time for Alexandra to continue her globe trotting as she spent three months in Spain. Maria counted the days until she would be able to see Alexandra again. Upon the conclusion of the exchange, Maria traveled to Spain to meet Irene's family, and she took great comfort in knowing how loved Alexandra had been by her adopted family. Again, when it was time to say goodbye, it was much the same. Tears, hugs, repeat. On the journey home, Maria and Alexandra detoured, detoured through England, where they experienced the same of the wonders of the London and Cornwall. Her favorite shop, her favorite stop of the trip was the Harry Potter Studios, where she immersed herself in all aspects of the series. 2020 saw Alexandra graduated from Archbishop Jordan High School with the honors. 
While she didn't get a formal grad, her mom did make sure to recognize the achievement with a series of photo, sh photo shots at the legislature. Maria and Alexandra had planned to spend the summer of 2020 traveling, but the world had a different plan, as we all know. Instead, Alexandra took a advantage of the beauty of Alberta, with the camping trips to Banff with some friends and a perfect jump to Jasper for some mother-daughter time. Alexandra wanted to go to go white water raf rafting, and she had the biggest smile on her face the whole trip. She loved the mountains and the water. She was in her happy place. Anytime she could sneak away, she wanted to spend time with her friends. She loved them, all the shared with Maria, who she found a circle of friends where she truly felt like she belonged. To all of you, thank you for bringing her into your circle and welcoming her as you had. You gave her life a new sense of belonging. Throughout her short time of this, on this earth, she was also surrounded and loved by a circle of extended family and those that we considered family. Uncle John, or Anki, is, as he was lovingly known, became her father figure. Their common love of football, the oilers, and of course junk food were the perfect trin trinity and made uh, and make hanging out at the games all the sweeter, literally. Alexandra was also fortunate to be embraced by the love of her godmother Yaroslava Bayrock and godfather Andrew Tatarin, and so many close friends of Maria. After all, it takes a village to raise a child. So all our friends know that Alexandra loved each and every one of you, even when sitting around the table playing a board game, which somehow she would always win, or having a philosophic discussion, or whether technological advancement is an asset to society. A few short weeks ago, Alexandra began a new chapter of her life, as she began her studies at the University of Alberta. While the online experience was not how, she, how envisioned her first year, she was enjoying her courses. She was already investigating academic options that would offer her the opportunity to study abroad and, of course, travel. On Thursday, September 17, at 9.12 p.m., all of Alexandra's dreams and the dreams of her mother and the family came to unjust end. There will be no graduation ceremony, no wedding, no seeing the world instead. Maria tries to find the words to say goodbye. At birthdays and Christmas, Alexandra would often ask her mother, what do you want me to get you? Maria replied, I already have the best gift. I have you. Maria still feels the same way. Alexandra was most beautiful, the special human being. While her hello may have had a little tarnished spot every now and then, her smile and laugh would warm up all that were in her presence. Maria leaves this final message for her little angel, Alexandra. I will love you forever. I will love you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you will be. Time of grief and time 
which is catch you when you are not expected. The things happens in the world and very often they do not ask of permission to happen. And the dearest whatever is close to us could be taken from us. That is the reality, unfortunately, of the of our life. So it shows us how serious we should be about our life and how realistic we have to be in our life. The reality of the event, even sometimes to have a children, do not wake us up sometimes. And we still, even having a children, we still are selfish, more thinking about our own selves. When it's time not permitted and things passing, we realize that we miss the time with our children. It seems that Maria kept catched in her life each single moment to be with Alexandra, to share her joy, to share her sorrow, and so. So, as we all have to be, as parents have to have their heart in the children, that's how their life was. Everyone who knew them, they knew this couple. Either this is the church service or event in the school or some event in the society, we were able to see both of them. And today with this event, we all comes Maria, you know that to all of us it was a parting of the peace of heart. None of us could be in your shoes, of course, because your loss is so deep. And nobody can say, oh, well, I understand you. Because each one is a different person. And even maybe have something similar in our life, we still cannot have the same feelings. But at least we can assure you that, yes, it was lost for each one of us. The sun September 18, a young eyes didn't saw the sun. It's unbelievable and unnatural. Unnatural for the elderly person to bury the younger person. These unnatural things, unfortunately, plenty in the history of the humanity, especially during the wars or other cataclysms, catastrophes, and so. But in a peaceful time, it's not that often that you can see. This heavy cross, this heavy cross is unbearable, could felt on a moment. But Maria, believe we all with you, with our prayers. One couple I was talking about just this said, Father, when I heard this, I I kind of saw my daughter losing my daughter and I, 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 I became frustrated. And that kind of feeling, probably most of us, or I would say all of us, we had when we heard this. But life is life. Even having a many nice things, she had one unfortunate thing that all of us, as soon as we are, became alive, all of us, we have time to be taken from this world. So, to talk about seriousness, it's probably don't need it. 
It's just to see the examples like this. An awakening for us that, yes, life might be stopped. And for this young age, we don't know why. And really, to ask ourselves now, it's probably only making a greater pain. Probably there is a reason, and of course, for God, it is reason. We don't know these reasons, what and so, but definitely God works in a way to treat all of us, but especially, especially with the living people. Not single person is born in this world without a certain purpose. Each person has a purpose on this life. To be born, it is a purpose. But believe me, to be taken from this world is even more important part comes. And here is very often the teachings through the pain and tears. What is this teaching each one of us have to think on our own? Because in this, we can see that uh, and say that as it was written in the eulogy, it was unjust, and I agree, it is unjust. And I even more say, it's unnatural. But the thing is that the decision came, and now another angel went ahead of us. Probably this angel has to awaken us for the certain things, has to show us how she and what she expects from all of us, from friends, from family, and so. Of course, it's hard for us to understand, but she is now in a different dimension. There is no sorrow and grief. Yes, we consider our life, it's a gift. And a year is also a gift of life. But there are some more important gifts about life eternal. And uh, these gifts and how they spread among the people, it's a very difficult subject to understand. But we, today, we cannot grieve as those who without hope. Tomorrow you will hear the epistle, when St. Apostle will be saying that we also have grief, but ne not as those who have no hope, because our hope in the kingdom of God. This life compared to the kingdom of God is almost nothing. We cannot even feel something, the smallest joy in the kingdom of God. So our joy here, it's much smaller. You cannot compare to the smallest joy in the kingdom where we believe the Alexander souls go. So in this, in these feelings, we all have to sing and pray to our Lord. Oh Lord, please receive the soul of the servant of God, Alexandra. Please and reach her, and, uh, and send the angels also to us to strengthen us, because we might lose our faith and our hope. So in this, in our prayers, when we put all our intentions and our heart will be open to God, God will strengthen us. God will strengthen us and will treat this uncurable disease, a losing of the closed one. In the Holy Gospel today, we heard, O oh Lord, not my will, but your be done. In the same sense, we Christians, we often have to bind or bow our heads and say, O oh Lord, not my will but your be done, and let it be according to your will. May the soul of the servant of God, Alexandra, 
Rest in peace and memory be eternal. Прошу, отец. Thank you. 